All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? Uh, my name is Kess. Kess? Yeah. Okay, how old are you? I'm 29 years old. 29, and what do you do? Uh, I work in finance uh, as a day job, and um, I uh, also coach AAU basketball. That's how I give back to the community. Okay, and now what are some things you look for in a woman? Uh, just somebody that's caring, uh, somebody that's, um, you know, understanding, somebody I can bring home to moms. Okay. And uh, it's just, that's about it. Got it, okay. And now what are some of your deal breakers? Smoking. Mm. I can't do smoking. No smoking. <laughs> okay, so we did get a couple of pop balloons. Let's go on over to these ladies and see, you know, what's going on. <laughs> we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. Alexis, and I'm 29. Mm -hmm. Okay. And why'd you pop? Um, I smoke from time to time, so. <laughs> Oh, that I get out the way for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And now, um, you know, she does say she's a smoker. Apart from that, is she someone that is your type, though? Yeah, she's fine. Okay. Yeah. Right. Like Thank that. you. You look nice, too. Appreciate you. Thank <laughs> you. All right. Let's go over to our next ladies over here. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Tiffany. I'm 26, and I smoke a little weed, <laughs> you know, so, but you are very handsome. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right, and now, is Tiffany someone that's your type? Yeah, hey, she's valid, too. Okay. Hey, she's nice. All right. Now, before he said that, you did have your balloon unpopped. Yeah, Why I so? I was hesitating, because I was like, does he mean cigarettes or weed? Because, you know, some guys just don't like cigarettes, and some guys just don't like weed. Got it. So I didn't know if it's both or just one, okay. you know? Yeah, fortunately, it's both. It's both, yeah. okay. I understand. <laughs> All right, let's go over to our next lady over here. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm C and I'm 36. I popped my balloon because um, just the height. Okay. But everything else, I mean, you're in finance. I like your outfit. You. So good job. Cool. <laughs> All right, now I see someone that you would approach to your type. Yeah, she is actually. Yeah, she seems like a good vibe. Uh, I feel vibrant personality. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's go on over here. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, my name is Nkiru and I'm 32. Uh, the reason why I popped is, uh, same thing with her too, like the height. Yeah. Yeah, I like them a little taller, but besides that, you look great. Thank you. I am. Thank you. All right. Now, uh, is she someone that is your type? Uh, I would say yeah, but I feel like, you know, I, I think sometimes um, it, it seems as though you're not welcoming. Uh, it seemed like uh, your facial expressions were like, don't talk to me. So, you know, I, I like somebody who I can go and talk to and <laughs> not be afraid to talk to. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, Have you so. gotten that before? <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know it was showing my face. <laughs> but, yeah, sometimes okay, okay. I do have, like, that straight face, like... Mm. <laughs> Thank you. And let's go down over here. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Kiana, I'm 32. Um, very handsome, clean, love the teeth. Are those veneer? Well, don't even matter. Like, they look nice. <laughs> really clean. Um, I just, you know, I'm not a smoker, but I do know like a lot of um, smokers. I would not even know a lot of smokers, but I just do know that those that suffer from PTSD, it yeah. kind of calms them. So I'm just like, you know, maybe not. So yeah. Okay. And now is she someone that is your type? She is. Okay. She is. Okay. Yeah. What makes her your type? Oh. Um, what? <laughs> it's tough. Oh. <laughs> She's nice. Uh, I think, uh, again, the way she speaks, uh, the what I get from her, uh, the physical, yeah, she, she's solid. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so we do have two balloons left unpopped. I'm gonna go ahead and have you ask these ladies a question just to kind of help you narrow it down, see who's more your type. Okay, yeah. Um, so from your prior relationship, what's one thing you learned about yourself that you're working on? Hmm. You know what, we always start with you. Let's start down there <laughs> and then we'll come back. <laughs> All right, we'll start with your name and age and the answer to this question. Uh, my name is Danielle and I'm 35 and something that I learned about me from my prior relationship is um, that I was working on is communication. Um, I've always thought that I had top tier communication because I, I, I talk a lot, um, but maybe take a step back, listen a little bit better and yeah, that's was the feedback for me. Nice. All right. 
Okay, let's start with your name and age and the answer to his question. I'm Lexi and I'm 27. And something that I learned from prior relationships is probably, dang, I lost it. <laughs> um, dang, I lost it. I can't remember, uh -oh. but um, I don't know. Another thing is just patience, just like, you know, being patient with people. Oh, that's what it was, understanding. Like mm -hmm. a lot of times, like, I feel like I do things in a certain order and I do things in a way that I would want someone else to do it. So understanding that everyone is different and everybody's not me and everybody kind of does things on in their own way. Okay. Yeah. All right, now ladies, any questions for him? I'll ask the same question. Okay, go for it. What is your relationship like with your parents? With my parents? Yes. So um, my mom and my, my sister and my nephews did a world to me. Um, that's really, that's my why. That's my reason for why I wake up and do what I do. Um, outside of that, my dad and I, we don't have the best connection. Um, I think that's a problem with a lot of black families. Uh, so I'm trying to rewrite that script, so yeah. Okay. Good, yeah. Okay, let's head down over here. All right, any questions for him? Yes. So you seem con conservative, <laughs> reserved very much. What is something that you do to kind of let loose, show more of your personality? So it is nerve wracking I mean, <laughs> so as part of it. Uh, but outside of that, like I said, um, I, I coach AAU basketball. So that's where a lot of my screaming and yelling and going all into it, uh, it goes into the kids. Um, outside of that, I'm really an easy going guy. So yeah. And you want kids? I love kids. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want any more. I understand. That's all. All right. <laughs> Let's go on back. Okay, yes. We have another question. Do you have kids? No kids. What else? Um, what is your idea of a great first date? A great first date. So. Uh, I think it would be selfish of me if I only stated what I would want to do. So that would be something we would communicate. Okay. Uh, but for me, what I, you know, what I tend to uh, thrive in is finding some sort of mom and pop restaurant to support. Mm -hmm. And we can have a conversation there. Go okay, I have a couple more questions. Yeah. <laughs> Are you confident, like, with your height? Because I'm tall. <laughs> <laughs> of course, yeah. You are? Yeah, my so, ex is a tall. So. Oh, I don't care about you. <laughs> yeah, I got to say. <laughs> um, what else? I think that's it that's for now. It? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me bring you on up here. Come on up. Come on up. All right. So she said she ain't got no more questions. Any final, end, any final questions on your end? Yeah, I just got two. Okay. That's okay. So when was the last time you been, you were genuinely happy? I'm happy right now. I'm happy every single day. Like I'm living the life that I want to live. Like I said earlier, like I travel. I'm a full-time student. I'm pursuing my passion. I'm a pre-med student. I'm a birth doula. I own a skincare business. Like these are nice. things that, I, that make me happy, that fulfill me. So nice. I have family. I have friends that love me. I'm happy. Nice. Yeah. Okay. And have you ever dated someone that's shorter than you in heels? In heels, yeah. Yeah, but in general, no. Cool. So you're not missing out. That's good. Mm -hmm. I was about to ask another question, but I can't remember. I'll ask later, I guess. Yeah, so you're going to ask you. hopefully on that date. So <laughs> oh, I got, oh, 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 okay, okay. <laughs> Where do you live? So originally I'm from Brooklyn, New York, but I live in Charlotte right now. Okay, yeah. I live in Atlanta. Does that Vegas. work? Yeah, it works for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So my final question, is it a yes for you for him? Yeah. And is it a yes for you for her? Of course. Yeah. We got a match! <laughs> I'll take this and you guys can go on on. <laughs>